welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Game Gen channel where I am playing Oxenfree. Uh, we have got ourselves a WoW radio and um, we have just looped back in time to last year. Actually, right now. Um, I paused it just before it started spilling everything. So let's hop straight back into it, shall we? Oh, the sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? What? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knickknack shops or whatever. No, come on, no, Alex. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. <laughs> 70s? It's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? Uh, I just... Uh, never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas <laughs> so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Okay. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. Uh... Yeah, um, it... Really is kinda ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. Okay. I think I'm about to watch Michael die. Again. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's Truthfully, I've um I... Ah, sorry. I think, yeah, I, <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh God, you idiot! Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> well, can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So. Uh... <laughs> Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, um, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff. Just gonna you know. kick my ball. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punch. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet and- Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. Yeah, sure. And look. I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. 
It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. <laughs> you know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. <laughs> Bucko, uh -oh. you haven't called me that in years. Yep. And just like that, the memory faded. Alex, are you all right? <sighs> okay. Uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do 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 you know that? <sighs> I mean, I let it go for the first two, but I uh, I I don't know. What was I doing? Um, you kind of slowed down, then stopped, then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move, and then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about, like, sandwiches or something. The whole thing was a weird little show, like... I... I was? Yes, you said it doesn't matter what's in it, potato chips. Always improve a sandwich. <laughs> it's like to yourself. Whatever. Okay. As long as you're back among the living, let's just head to the gate, try the radio. Alrighty. Okay. Not weird at all. Ooh. I've already got that normally. Never mind. Uh, oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but... I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh... Hmm. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a Just boat. I mean, we're not going to escape. It was too early. We haven't figured out what the hell's going on yet. Or it's going to have no fuel and we're going to have to go and get some fuel from the fort or something like that. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how there to live. There is lift. a boat, though. It's like the Chateau de... Ah, uh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. What's behind door number one? We've got here projector. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29-18-54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more, whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Okay. So, I wonder what the, uh, the chest is. Oh. Should we oh. go into a house? Oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Okay. Huh. Well, uh... The keys, they... They have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, <sighs> you know? Yeah. That's as good a guess as any. Let's go into the lady's house. This isn't gonna be a problem at it's all. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Come on. 
It's not creepy or anything. Anything? Come on, give me anything. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> That is a nifty gizmo. Alrighty. Oh, what have we got here? Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Ah. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Okay. Let's have a look upstairs because this is interesting up here. Full stream. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky right it's the tight spaces the darkness the spiders the creaking and well i'm actually that about covers it oh look it's a chest oh you know what this might be the um the chest that takes that combination 29 18 54 it's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office oh and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Hmm. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. <laughs> Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. Hmm. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Oh, okay. Savage. Is there anything else? Don't think so. I mean, something's going to go wrong. Yeah. Oh, Alex. Hi. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Yes. What? Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Okay. As soon as I walk past the mirror, something bad's going to happen. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no, nope, I was wrong. Come on, Jonas. I I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there ah. you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. Yes. But don't fret. Okay. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? Okay. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. Okay. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. Sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for. Trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see. Okay. We'll go and find it. See? As simple and good. I want to play this. Just tell me what's happening. Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, softball, softball. radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. Softball, so, softball. Ten, nine, eight, seven, softball, softball. six, five, once they call it official eye, four, three, Wow. Two. One. The poor thing's life had just begun. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Nona! What the fuck is she? Look at that. The little... Where is she? 
Where'd you take her? Oh, Don't gosh. you mind, but let this be a teachable moment for you. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. Oh, fuck's sake. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in other sense. Okay. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... we're I not... spy with my little eye a knot. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. What? Seven. Six. Five. Oh, four, fuck's sake. Three. Two. This is impossible. Uh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to it's be. Fair. It's fair. Jonas, come on, snap out of it. It's right there. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. This isn't their fault. Bring them back. They'll come back when you learn their purpose, child. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye. Okay. A picture of a memory. Uh, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and... Well, only one survived. Okay. In the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. Okay, if we- if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb okay. into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem... ...gracious, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn. And so are you. We would spend our time wisely. And... We thank you for your good service. Well, that... Could have gone better. Okay, what the fuck? Hopefully, this will work as usual. No, that's not what I said. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> so we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. Okay. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now. Was it? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. Yeah. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost? Marissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? 
Well, uh, a good question. Maggie, ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? Hmm. First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island. She left secret notes all over the place. The ghosts hate her. She was involved with it somehow. Come on. And she thought she needed to tune a radio into the the source of the problem in the cave. Well, if we're going to the cave. Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. Okay. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. All what right. kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, okay, so... We're pretty screwed at the moment. But like I said, something bad is going to happen and we're going to solve the issue because otherwise the souls of the people who are lost are going to absorb us. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. Alright, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the end. It's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. Okay. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh! But, won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made mm. out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, mm. above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, scary. something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry. This is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, no, no. Wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry. I kind of <laughs> sent out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. <laughs> uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Okay, cool. Easy. Piece of piss. Alright. Right. Break. And I, I do agree. Break. If anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. <laughs> Same here. I don't want to know nothing. Alright, so that is a good break time as well. So we've got to go and open up the bomb shelter so we can get back into the cave and then tune into the source within the source and fix everything. Sounds pretty simple enough, right? So, if you liked this video, please hit the like button below. If you're not subscribed to some more Oxen Free as well as other games as well, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment or two as well, go for it. And as always, until next time, this is Game Gen, signing out.